Did you know that I'm afraid of bouncy castles? They always make me jump. Hey everybody, so today we're going to be making artwork in the style of Paul Klee's Castle and Sun. Let's take a look at our supplies. We are going to need something to draw on. I'm going to be using plain white paper, but any other type of drawing paper or dry erase board will work just fine. You're going to need something to draw with. I'm going to be using a number two pencil, but you could use a pen or a marker, whatever you have. You are going to need some kind of straight edge. I'm using a normal ruler, but you could use a piece of junk mail, um, another piece of paper, anything you've got on hand with a straight edge to help you draw some straight lines. You're going to need something small and round to draw your sun with. Uh, I'm just going to use a little cup, but you could use the lid to a bottle, whatever you have on hand. And you're going to need something to color with. I'll be using markers, but you could just use some crayons or some colored pencils if that's what you've got. Once you gather your supplies, we can get started. Okay folks, so the first step in drawing a Paul Klee castle is to create just truckloads of boxes all over this paper. Boxes everywhere. So we're going to take our straight edge, I'm going to be using a ruler, and we're going to start just drawing lots of vertical lines on our paper. I'm going to do this in pairs, but we do want to have lots and lots of pairs of vertical lines of different sizes. So, you know, here's a pair that are about the same size, and maybe another set that's like this size. And maybe go back up, kind of randomize it a little bit. Just lots of different size lines. And, you know, maybe we'll have a a wider set right here. Space them out a bit more. Make this guy a little taller. So we got a bunch of verticals here. Now what we need to do is start turning these into boxes. So we're going to take our straight edge and we're going to go across the horizontal here, going sideways. And we're just going to start making boxes. Remember to draw lightly so that you can erase if you make a mistake. Moving my paper. Just trickle it to boxes all over the place. Get rid of this little extra piece up here. You know what, we're gonna cut this one off right here. Just making so many boxes. Now, once we get all of our boxes drawn, we can start adding a few details in. Not many. Paul Klee's paintings are usually pretty detailless, but we could add a few in. We could add some points to our roofs, maybe an archway, um, you know, add a door to our castle right here. And maybe take our straight edge and add a few pointy roofs. Might want to make yours come to a point better than I did there. I kind of missed a little bit. There's a better one. Just adding some triangles in. Add the roof to our castle.
And if you want to, you can go in and, you know, divide up some of these boxes into even smaller boxes so you can get more cubes. Paul Klee was a cubist painter and he loved him some cubes. Squares everywhere. All sorts of squares. And just keep going and adding boxes. Once you have all your boxes in place, your next step is going to be to add lots and lots and lots of colors. Um, if you look at Paul Klee's Sun and Castle and Sun, um, it's very, very colorful. Lots of bright, cheery colors. Oh, the sun, I almost forgot sun. Yeah, grab something around and put a sun up there. Can't have a painting called Castle and Sun with no sun. That just doesn't make sense. Yeah, sun. All right, let's color this guy. So we're just gonna take lots of bright colors, start filling everything in. All over our artwork. Just gonna color everything. And once you're done coloring, you have your own version of Paul Klee's Castle and Sun. So now that you've seen how I made my artwork, I want to see yours. Make sure you take a picture and post it to the Class Art Gallery.